guys, good morning. We are on our way to our CC Homeschool Community Day and it is 8 o'clock, 8.06. We actually left the house at about 7.40, what, 8, 7.50. And we've been on this road right beside our house for the last like 15 minutes, which always puts me running behind. But, you know, I do the best I can. So, um, anyway, we're on our way. I've got all the youngins in here. The youngins, do you guys speak like that where you live? That means like, you know, young ones, I guess. But youngins, around here, that's what we say. <laughs> or maybe not around here, but I'm, my family's from the mountains of North Carolina, so I just kind of caught myself saying that, and then I realized that was probably a really country term. <laughs> what do you think? Is that a country term? Yeah, Youngins. <laughs> anyway, um, we have the back all packed up. Got my board and my rolly cart there. There's Maddie. I think she's watching one of our vlogs and she has her bag and her blankie. I left her in her pajamas today because um, we had to leave so early and it's actually pretty chilly so I just I didn't want to undress her quite yet so we just packed her clothes and um, it was like 65 degrees this morning so we have our little sweatshirts and sweaters on and, and she has her rock top down. I'm actually really excited for some cooler weather. The only thing about North Carolina is it goes straight from super duper 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 hot, usually to super duper 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 cold. So um, we have a very short like fall period. It almost goes directly into winter. But I'm gonna savor the next few weeks. Um, as the temperatures kind of drop and the leaves change and all that good stuff. It's like my favorite time of year. I love it. Um, but then I don't really like the cold. I just like these, you know, and it doesn't last long enough. That's what's so sad about it. It doesn't last nearly long enough. But, so last night, you know, I was scrambling trying to lesson plan for today. So I hope today goes smoothly. Um, I feel, out of you know kind of out of my routine and kind of off my game from taking last week off so hopefully we can kind of get back in the groove today and get Jacob kind of caught up with his class and with his teacher he can maybe ask some questions and get um, a little bit more familiar with the new stuff that we missed last week because we really didn't get to cover a lot huh? I'm still sleeping it looks so cloudy like it's gonna rain at any moment so come on what what baby um, okay so when the airplane was landing over there mm -hmm. yes but it, it, um when i was landing and when i was coming for a runway like down yeah like there was a bunch of smoke coming down was there. there yeah wow so my mom meets us at the church where we meet and she gets maddie and I'm supposed to be there in like five minutes, but that's not gonna happen. I'll be at least five minutes late getting there. So yeah, our homeschool group meets until 3.30, four, well, I teach or tutor until 12. And then Jacob has his um, challenge A class until 3.30, four o'clock. So um, I'll be sitting in with him after that hanging out with him so it's a long day and then after school we will be stopping by the grocery store probably to get some ground beef and stuff for tacos tonight and um, then I have to work for the next two days so you're gonna be kind of on your own but Wednesday and Thursday yep. and it's been ages since I went to work so that's gonna be weird too but it will be nice to get a little bit of a paycheck, which is desperately needed. So, all the Corvette. All right, guys. So I will see you here in just a little bit. Talk to you soon. Y'all want to listen to that song one more time so we can get it in our hands? Yes. One more time. That way you can remember it for your memory work. Egyptian Empire, Egypt Nile. I want to hear it, guys. Upper and lower Egypt, West and East deserts, Nile Delta and Crete. The lid on your marker. I'll erase these.
Walmart out here since Jacob's got about an hour left of class we sat through about an hour and a half of his class just to um, I like to do that just to listen and kind of get on the same page as what you know we need to be doing at home during the week and um, so I was sitting there thinking about meal plans and everything and so I thought that I would go ahead and run out here to Walmart and pick up some stuff for dinner tonight and boy it's kind of chilly I can't believe it's not really cold but um, it's overcast still and it's and pretty cool pretty cool it's not hot like it was the other day and look look at the temperature yeah Mom, look at that garbage truck <laughs> um, CC went well this morning I don't know why I was panicking over actually I think today went more smoothly than ever is that weird how, you know, I planned so last minute last night and I feel like today went better than any of the other weeks. <laughs> it's so funny how that happens. But um, the kids were good. We had, um, they were a little rambunctious today, but um, we had a good class, good time. So, um, and they did really well with, you know, trying to learn their memory work and the review game. I don't know if you guys remember, but I showed you guys this review game that I made with egg, the egg carton and the subjects and the points. And I just used like a fuzzy ball to throw in. Anyway, we did that review game today and the kids really enjoyed it and they did a great job. It, it was, it worked out really well to help review the memory work. So, um, that is an easy, cheap little review game that any of you CC mamas might want to take and adapt if you tutor or even use it at home um, with your memory work. It was really kind of handy. So I would definitely recommend doing that if you have a large um, egg crate that you could use. It worked out really well. Um, as I was sitting in class, I was listening a little bit to The Peaceful Wife on YouTube, which I just love her channel. Her name is April, April, April Collins, maybe. I don't know if that's right or not. But anyway, if you look and search The Peaceful Wife, it will come up, um, her channel will come up. And I just love listening to her speak. She has some very, very valuable words of wisdom. And I think as wives, we need to be always seeking out wisdom. We need to always be searching for the will of God. We always need to be um, improving ourselves, um, asking God to refine us. Um, and that's why I just love reading those types of books and listening to people who are gaining wisdom through the Holy Spirit and through the Lord um, as to what, how we can be better wives and what does a biblical life, uh, wife look like, um, specifically um, in the area of submission and gentleness and um, Today, I was listening to her speak on, um, actually this was last night, I think she was speaking on tone of voice, and that is a challenge for me and for a lot of women that I know is that tone of voice that we use sometimes. I don't know if there's a parking space up here, yeah. 
that we use sometimes with our family and our husband is short. It's snappy. We have a lot going on and sometimes we tend to get irrit irritable. But we have a really, really great opportunity to um, really minister to our families, especially in um, if we watch the tone that we speak to them in. And so I'm going to challenge myself this week to use a kinder, softer, sweeter tone when I'm talking to my family and when I'm talking to my husband. And that's going to be my goal for this week um, because that is something that I struggle with. I feel like I'm, I can be very bossy and I can be very... Um, irritate irritable at times because I have a lot going on and I want things done now 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 and I get impatient so um, anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys because that is something that I'm learning and I'm trying to work on and I like to share that with you guys so that maybe you can you know learn and work on it as well so we're gonna run in here grab some meat and be back with you in just a few minutes hey okay, Mason just got a surprise egg so he's videotaping right now and he wanted me to tell you guys about it so he got this Okay, how do you say this, guys? It's caracal or caracal? Caracal? Car I don't know how to say it. It's C-A-R-A-C-A-L. And it's um, Africa, Middle East, Central Asia, and Northern India. It's a medium-sized wild cat, you supposedly. Can't, your camera's best good at Huh? Your camera's going dead. It is? Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is neat. We learned about it. It had this little insert had this little insert in it and uh, we learned about this type of cat. Can you see? Yeah. Being too. Wild cat. And oh. guys, guess what? We got, it came with this thing. Here. With the cat. You want to put Close it in? It. Close it. You want to put this in too? Yeah. Put it in the white ray. The white ray. Put it in like the lines. Like hook it to lines. I don't know how that's supposed to be. Hook it to the lines. Hook it to the lines. See guys, watch out. Guys, see how that worked? And mom, show them how it works. Let's take it off. Okay. Like open it. Then you open it like that, and then you have your surprise. Surprise egg. Surprise, surprise egg. egg. Surprise egg. We love surprise egg. We love surprise egg. Oh yeah. Surprise egg are so much fun. Oh yeah. Surprise, surprise, fun, fun. Surprise is so fun. This is a surprise. This is a surprise. Guys, you guys are men. Listen that. All right, so we got home. I got into my sweatshirt that we got today. I'm so excited. I ordered these sweatshirts from our Classical Conversations community. And um, so the front says Classical Conversations community, and the back says to know God and make him known, which is our motto, um, our mission. So um, I really like this sweatshirt, and... I could not wait to get out of my restrictive jean skirt. Max, get down, get down. Can't keep this cat off my counters and my table. Oh. Oh. So um, anyway, I am excited to be in my sweats and my sweatshirt and sweatpants. That's what I love about fall is the fact that it's perfect weather for cozy, cozy clothes. Um, I'm super duper tired. I probably look super duper tired. And I'm really, really fighting the urge to go lay down on the couch. But I went ahead and um, unloaded the dishwasher and reloaded it and all that good stuff that you got to do. And um, now I really need to cook dinner. Right, guys, sorry my battery died, but I'm here. I've got dinner almost ready. We're having chicken fajitas and Spanish rice. So I'm gonna turn the burner off. I have my chicken and my um, red and orange bell pepper and onion in here. Here's my Spanish rice. And I just heated up some tortillas. And so 
It is time to make these bad boys, get the family fed so that I can sit down and have some relaxation time tonight because I am really tired. So yeah, hopefully these aren't too spicy. I don't think they will be. So we're gonna do the, the meat with the veggies on the tortilla and then I'm gonna put on um, some uh, chunky salsa with some Fiesta Blend shredded cheese. And that's about it. I may pull out some sour cream, just to, you know, if anybody wants some of that. And um, then we're gonna do the rice. And that is what dinner is today. It looks, actually looks really yummy. I'm glad I went this direction instead of like tacos, which I almost did do tacos.